Dwayne here, phoenixtyperadder.com. Got the uh, Smith Corona 120 here on the bench. This is electric with a manual return. Has been reworked, reconditioned. Looks perfect. I even left the bottom off because the bottom is just about as pretty as the top. Got one of these colorful mainsprings down here. There's the windings of the motor, nice bright red. Everything looks good down here. Got our bell. I can get, get it to ring. I think it's uh, I think it's rubbing a little there. It is. Let's pull this back just a little bit like this. A little bit more. There we go. Let's see if that works better. Let's see. Definitely better. It takes gravity to hit that trigger. It's got to be. There we go. Once it's already. It's got to be something flat. All right. Bell sounds good. That's a nice powerful bell, just like the rest of the machine, nice and powerful, big and bad. That's what we're going to call this typewriter. So this is a demonstration of the type. So let's put a few paper in here and do it. Okay, so that's what most typewriters type like right there. Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit. Yes, that's what most typewriters. look like when they type. There we go. But this one is a little special, so I'm going to type above that line right there. And you'll see. That is a little bigger than that. This is the monster of typewriters. So I believe this is 12 spaces per inch. This is 6 spaces per inch. So it's either called primary or bulletin. Special type style that was ordered when the machine was new. It's got some big type right there. Pretty neat. It's got the original card guide here because it's only got one red line instead of a pair of red lines because the type is so big that it fits. It's too tall for the dual red line, so that's special. I think the backspace is special on this too, because it's got to go a lot further than a, a standard typewriter does when you hit the backspace. The, the carriage moves considerably further each action. I looked in there and it looks like it's designed just a little differently than a, the normal, and it's also a little different here on the keyboard. It's got underscore on top of the six. And instead of underscore on this button, they switched it to the six, I guess. And it's also a repeat key. So if you hit this, it repeats the action. So that's not normal on Smith Coronas. So you can repeat the dash or you can repeat the six. Or the, the star over here, you can repeat. Oh, it doesn't repeat. Just the period. And the X. So the dash up here does not repeat. Huh, okay. Well, that's the way they roll. This is quite the powerhouse of a machine. You can sure see that type style from a distance, too. Alright. See you next typewriter. Good day.